Times. At the base of the iconic St. John's Bridge sits Moonstruck Chocolate Company, the largest artisanal chocolatier in the Northwest. Every one of Moonstruck's eye-catching arrays of unique truffles is conceptualized by Chef Julian Rose, named one of the top 10 chocolatiers in all of North America by Dessert Professionals magazine. A team of 35 artisans handcrafts every truffle, from classics like the uber-popular Raspberry Chambord to whimsical seasonal designs like the summer collection of colorful clownfish. To satisfy America's sweet tooth, the factory produces more than a half a million boxes of distinctive treats per year. We might just cut them off at the eye, like where your head's at right now. If they're on an I-5, they have to go so far up and then over. Right, right, this is whole. And this process is like yeah. already St. John's in Columbia Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to make sure we get over. I don't want to get screwed. We're going to miss it. Promise me you get it, bro, because I don't want to get hosed. Dude, the flags. Go. It's on go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. I don't see their vehicle. I hear you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am so surprised that we made it here first. I, it's unbelievable. Next right, you see it? I see it, Chris. And this guy won't let you in, I bet. All of the truffles, handmade with care. Lots of choices, plenty to share. Package the box, put it all in a row. Make no mistake, away you go. In this challenge, our competitors will get a taste of the intricate task of packaging delicate truffles for shipping. Each team member must snatch enough chocolates from a speeding conveyor belt to fill two boxes of truffles. And every box must match the sample of Moonstruck's critter collection of cats, mice, clownfish, and chocolate lab pups. Chef Julian will not only scrutinize quality, but also configuration. This task requires the perfect mixture of speed and concentration, since teams will be fighting the conveyor belt and their opponents for access to the specific sweets they need to complete the challenge and set out for the finish line first. Sounds great in here. I want to go hot tub and get a bath of chocolate. I see the, I see the flags. Oh, oh man, these guys are here already. Go. All right, tubes, truffles. We have to fill these boxes with chocolates. They're little cuppies pointing the right direction, you know, different colored fish, kitty cats, meow, whatever. Split them up. The strategy is to make them beautiful so the chef loves them over here. Come on, come on, come on. You know what, these guys, they know the local streets, man. We had a great lead. I can't believe that this is happening to us. Watch, Aaron. Drop them out. Our task here is to actually place 12 chocolates per box in the right order as these chocolates are flowing from this machine. They're going really fast, dude. <laughs> you need that one chocolate, and then you see it going by. Now you're scrambling to look for another one amongst all these other chocolates. It's a little trickier than it seems. I'm pretty much looking for color. It's just pretty much pink, yellow, brown. Make sure that when you pick them up, our own, that we don't break off the pieces yeah, because they're that. very delicate. We're also quality control. Are one of the stripes missing? Is his eye gone? Is his tail broken? So we gotta be looking for those things. Chef, please. One rejected. It wasn't in the little paper perfect. I think he's tucked in cute now, Chef. Perfect. Thank you. It's very difficult being sweaty and shaky working with these delicate chocolates with the chef lording over you. Oh my god. Coming up. This is not good. Not good at all. And later. Dude! Speed up, speed up. We have to make two boxes of these signature chocolates. Oh, my first box definitely got approved. Yep, very good. Thank you. As I grabbed the box. Oh my god. Shook the chocolates and a couple fall out. That set me behind. Yes. Ryan, I can't believe that just happened. I had to redo the box. This is not good. Not good at all. By this point, we're all so tired. It's been a long day. One rejected. Uh, Chef. Hey, Ryan. Sorry, man. Good. Thank you, Chef.
Very good. Thank you. We're as slow as all molasses. I know he feels that way right now. And I would, if I was him, I would probably fire me. <laughs> right, Chef? Yes. <laughs> How's it going, Gabriel? Not good. Cardboard. I'm really having a hard time with these stupid cardboard inserts. Chef, please. Yep, very good. Speed up, speed up. Dude, look at me. Here's all your papers. Make sure there's only one every time. I know, I know, I know, Chris. Oh, come on, give me a pink one. Give me a pink one. If it's not there, you have to wait for it to come your way. And that's what was, like, so frustrating. Chef. One rejected. What color are they? White. Chef. One rejected. Oh, goodness. I need a cute little putty tat. Here you go, Chef. Very good. Chris and Arella are rapidly catching up. Chef, please. We need to get out of this challenge. We need to get in the car. One rejected. How you feeling, Ryan? I'm feeling strong. Strong. I like that. OK, Aron, next to white guy. Right, what do you got? A little white guy. Little white guy's on your way. Dude, there you go. Very good. Awesome. Yeah. Done, Chef. Get a pink one. Chef. One rejected. Sometimes faster isn't always better. I'd rather get it right the first time than have to do it over and over and over. Let's try that again, Chef. Very good. Thank you, Chef. Hey, I'm done. I'm done. Chris, at this point, has already finished, and I know I need to step this up. This is about winning. We're almost there. One rejected. Which one is it, I'll run? Chef, please. Quickly. Quickly. It's nerve-wracking being so close at the end. Very good. Present, Chef, right now. Present. Chef, here you go. Congratulations. Thank you. Chef. Good. We have it. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Good work. I like that. You better be in here. Go, 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 go. I'm going. Let him go around. Let's see if stretch is going. He knows. We are going to Pioneer Courthouse oh, Square. Oh, God. If we lose this, it's supposed to be our town. Oh, dude, they're going another way. Oh! Do you want to take the chance and follow them? I don't care to right now. It's been, it's been neck and neck all day, that's for sure. We're going to be close, baby. I know, it's going to be close. It's fine. I mean, I'm sure they're going to take the freeway. We're getting back on the five. We're going to get there faster, right? Let's do it. Nice. We're close. Yeah. We're on South Washington. Street. Yeah, just keep going straight. You're going to take a left on Broadway. Oh, that's them right there. Oh, my God. Son oh. of a go. Dude, we got oh. it. We, we're good. We're good. Our own, you better be ready to run. <laughs> Get in there. Park now. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Out, go. <laughs> Go, go, go. All right, guys, come on! Here they come! Come on! Here they come! It's Team Shaft versus City! Wait, wait, where's this guy came out? Where's your partner? About halfway through, my calf just seizes up, just full-on cramp. It is so upsetting watching everyone cross the finish line, and I'm just stuck nursing an injury. Come on, let's go get him. Let's go get him. Come on. He can't run, so let's bring him home. We're done. Race is over, but you don't ever leave a teammate down. What a day of competition. First of all, are you OK? Yeah, absolutely. I have to really tip my hat to Gabe and Ryan. These are two of the toughest competitors I think we have faced. I think we showed Chris and Ron what Portland chefs have in them. A lot of love, glory, and pride. Ryan, I definitely make